but right now let's get it out to San Diego. Jack Curry and Meredith Morakovic standing by. I know you've got your ideas of what you want to talk about. We just gave you a lot to chew on about a lot of players, a negative Michael K. We got a lot going on back here. What's going on out there? Man, Bob, Michael Kay is fired up early in this one, and we love to see it from San Diego. Bob, I can tell you there's been a lot of hustle and bustle in that lobby already from GMs to job seekers. A lot of business is being conducted, and you already talked about some of the chips that are off the board in Trey Turner and Justin Verlander, but Jack, as we know, everybody wants to know where is Aaron Judge going, and Michael mentioned the reports that he's expected to be here in San Diego tomorrow. What do you make of all of it? It's a conversation that has dominated everything that is going on at the meetings and some of the other players that have signed that the guys just detailed obviously those are big players too but everywhere you turn Meredith you're being asked about Aaron Judge and the questions you get is who is he going to sign with when is he going to sign and how much is he going to sign for let's talk about some of the things we know we know the Yankees have made an eight-year offer in the range of 300 million so about 38 million dollars a year and they believe that that is a top of the market offer and they like the offer that he has made so is he coming here tomorrow on the heels of cashman agreeing to a new deal to say to the yankees yes i'm ready to sign with you look i know you were networking in that lobby i was speaking to people down there as well and it seems like the consensus is that most people believe that aaron judge will in fact sign with the yankees still a question mark as we know what are you hearing on your end well I mentioned that there are a lot of questions that are being asked and I did have one baseball person who said to me today you've had the Yankees come forward with Hal Steinbrenner talking about how much he wants to have judge you've had Brian Cashman talk about how much he wants judge there's a question to be asked to Aaron Judge. How much do you want to be a Yankee? He has talked about wanting to be a Yankee, wanting to finish his career here. Well, he has the opportunity to do that. He has the opportunity to agree to a deal, and both of those sides have to get together and have to figure out a way to make this happen. We know that there's been talk of a ninth year. Will that be part of anything going forward, Meredith? But you and I have both covered Aaron Judge's career, and I think being a Yankee is very important to him. Him. Michael mentioned DeGrom earlier. I don't think staying with the Mets was important to DeGrom. I think that DeGrom was ready to leave that environment. We'll have to see whether or not Judge would ever make that move away from New York. With DeGrom, it was pretty clear he had no interest in pitching in New York, and clearly there were some differences with the organization over the years, even though there is the new ownership. But with Aaron Judge, he's just voiced it so many times. But at the end of the day, it is business, and he's going to make the best decision for both him and his family. Family. But when I look at that decision, Jack, if there's no Aaron Judge, what is this Yankees team identity? It's a great question. Where do you pivot to? What is your plan B? And I think we have to emphasize that plan A, and it's a capital A, is Aaron Judge. Because after that, the best position players on the market are shortstops. We know Turner is now off the market, but you have Correa, you have Swanson, you have Xander Bogertz. Well, the Yankees' best minor league prospects are shortstops and last year they had a stopgap shortstop in Kiner Falefa because they're waiting for those players to get closer to the major leagues well now that they're closer to the major leagues are you suddenly going to turn around and sign a free agent shortstop so Meredith I think they have plan B's and plan C's but I don't even think they want to go there I think they are all in on wanting to make sure they get judged and as negative Michael K said earlier being able to move forward and do other business after that. There's no question that's holding everything up on the Yankees, and they're certainly willing to wait to see what that decision is. But you mentioned some of the young shortstops in the Yankees organization. We're going to be speaking to Kevin Reese later, talking a little bit about Anthony Volpe, Volpe and guys like Peraza. Uh, but when I look at this Yankees roster right now, as it's constructed, they have some other needs. It's not just right field and Aaron Judge. They need a left fielder, and they need some pitching help, Jack. They do on both ends, and I think that Ben Benintendi who they acquired last year. I think he looms as a nice option for them. Nimmo is obviously out there. He's a center fielder. I think he's going to cost more in free agency. I think they like Ben Benintendi because he puts the ball in play. He gets on base. He's a gold glove outfielder. And from the pitching side, you look at Carlos Rodon. The Yankees talked to the Giants about acquiring him last season. It would have been for half a season, obviously, because free agency was looming. 
Well, Radon is going to cost a lot of money, and Radon is a guy who might get a five or six year deal for $30 million plus. Are the Yankees willing to swim in those waters, or are they going to go with some of the pitchers at the back end of the rotation that they currently have, guys like Schmidt and Herman? Judge aside, what are you most curious about over this week? I just think the uh, money that is being spent, Michael teased it earlier, and we're teasing him by calling him negative Michael K. but Jeff Passan, who does a great job covering the uh, offseason and actually baseball all season for ESPN, he had the number at over a billion dollars that has already been spent, and that number is just going to go up because we know Judge is going to add to it, and Correa, and Swanson, and Bogert, so... Baseball is an $11 billion industry, and when you come to these meetings, you see how the pursuit of these players, that the numbers just keep going up and up. So I'm just curious, Meredith, to see where some of these players end up going and what the numbers end up being.